creative friends. Today I'm doing another little experiment. Silicon versus no silicone. So I get a lot of questions when I'm using fluid troll mixture, uh, why I add silicone? Because fluid troll on its own produces some cells. And what is the point of adding silicone if just the fluid troll creates cells in your artwork? So the intention of today's experiment is to actually see the difference between cells from just fluid troll and cells created with adding a little bit of silicone. And I'm gonna do two funnel pours. I really like this technique. I think it's pretty good for cells. So I'm working on two 10 by 10 canvases and on one I'm gonna do just paint and fluid troll and water. And in the other one, <clears throat> and in the other one, I'm gonna add some uh, silicone to the white color only. Because for this technique, there is really no need to add silicone to more than one color because this is gonna be too much. I'm gonna get started with one that has no silicone. Today I want to work with like a oceany, softer colors. So I have a whole bunch of uh, blues. Oh, this is actually aqua blue and this is... No, this is aqua green. Cobalt uh, blue metallic. Ultramarine. And phthalo blue. And I also want to add some magenta just for contrast. And of course some titanium white. Need to cut this a little more. Oh, okay, it just flew somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna start by adding just a little bit of white on my canvas. So last, I want to add some white and I'm gonna add some right in the center so there's some white goes all the way through, through all the colors and also some on top. So I got the whole bunch of small cells. Man, this funnel looks so beautiful. Just look at that. So cool. So I'm gonna put it this way. looks really awesome. Now I'm afraid that I'm not gonna like the one with silicone because there's already so much going on here. Enough movement, enough uh, cell action, really enough everything. I feel like I need to stretch this part just a little because I have a little too much paint on the canvas. I think this is good. I'm gonna Stop here. She says stop while tilting. <laughs> okay, no, I'm gonna stop. Wow, really awesome. Now let's do one with silicone. And I'm gonna add just one drop. Okay, so you're gonna do the same thing, add a little bit of white. Phthalo, ultramarine, added some magenta, cobalt blue, aqua green, 
And last, I added white. So I'm gonna pour some from up high so the color can go through. And then add some on top here. Now let's see what happens with this one. The way the cells are opening are different, so with silicone you see there is more cell action to begin with and some cells are opening much bigger than what I had with just floor troll. Like this, that one, this one. And if I'm gonna torch it, I'm gonna get even more. Okay, so let's uh, stretch this one. So as you can see, the difference is not that huge, but here the cells, I would say they're just a lot more dramatic. And of course they're bigger and there is a whole lot more going on. So obviously there is no right way or wrong way. It's just a matter of preference and it's up to you what technique you're going after, what look you're going after. If you want to get a whole lot of cell action, really busy. Uh, or you want something a little softer and more about movement. So, and this is only one drop to one color. If I add it to a couple of colors or if I add a little more silicone, there's gonna be a whole lot more going on. Anyway, so now let's see how they dry. So there we have them dry. As you can see, the cells kept growing on this one and this was just a single drop of silicone. And this one was not perfectly level, so part of the paint has shifted. But I still really like all the movement and all the details. These two are so different, but both of them are really cool. Let me know which one you like better. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more experiments and acrylic pouring techniques. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Happy pouring.